tuning in to Griffin Update. I'm your host, Jessica Stallard. And I'm Tanner Cobb. We have a pretty short show for you guys today, but that doesn't stop us from showing you some great things happening on campus. Tanner's right. I will still go around asking students campus questions, Jake will have his sports report, the Griffin Newscast will give us a recap of homecoming, and we'll also take a look at the events that are happening the next few weeks. But for now, let's talk about homecoming. Did you go to any of the events? I did, and they were really fun. The silent party was a really cool idea. I think a lot of students really enjoyed it. What about you? Yeah, I went to the football game and it was a really good one. I wish I would have gone to the parade. Reporter Riley Reagan was there to cover the festivities. The last day of homecoming week started off with a parade through downtown St. Joseph. Marching bands from area schools such as Benton, East Buchanan, and Kearney showed their talents while floats from Missouri Western's many organizations cheered through the streets. Missouri Western's own Golden Griffin Marching Band performed in the parade. Drum major Andy Day was very happy with how this year's homecoming turned out. It was fantastic. They did super well. The, their sound is great. It's, it's been absolutely phenomenal this year. Taking on the 90s theme with great stride were floats from organizations such as the Missouri Western Recreational Services. We got a kick out of it being the 90s theme this year. So of course we went to Saved by the Bell with the hash mark through it. We went to Saved by the Whistle for the lifeguards. They, had a, they really had fun with it. The weather was brisk at the start of the parade, but that didn't stop attendees from enjoying the event. It was supposed to be really cold, but actually the weather wasn't too bad, and so that's awesome. The rest of the day was filled with events at Spratt Stadium, such as the alumni tailgating before the football game, the game itself against Missouri Southern, and a fireworks show to celebrate the football team's victory and the end of homecoming. This has been Riley Reagan for Griffin News Media. Wow, that looked like a lot of fun. I'll have to go to the parade next year. Yeah, sadly I'm going to be graduating soon, so I don't know if I'll make it back next year. But you know who will make it back for next year's homecoming? Who? The suspense is killing me. Nathan Scott. He's a vice president for SGA and somehow shows the school spirit, works constantly, while also being a student. Chloe Ryan sits down and tells us more. Working with the Student Government Association can be a lot of work, but for vice president of SGA, Nathan Scott, it's all worth it. Nathan was a freshman last semester when he first became senator, and after a couple of weeks of being a senator, he began campaigning with Ngoma Fataki for presidency. Uh, just over time as being a senator, I, I realized that uh, there's a lot of opportunity for growth and a lot of opportunity to do amazing things. And, you know, it just came up with me and Ngoma working together and having, uh, you know, some ideas that we thought that we could really accomplish this year and that we're still working on today. Transparency and accountability were two of the main attributes Nathan and Ngoma brought home during their campaign. Since being on SGA, Nathan has made some changes to the campus. One of the major uh, pieces of legislation that I got through as a senator was uh, to stand up against uh, wasteful faculty evaluation printing. Uh, and that became a little bit controversial, but uh, you know, it's, it's something that did pass and it's something that stands as precedent now, especially with this push to paperless that uh, President Wilson is. Uh, working on. So. Nathan has a lot of goals for Missouri Western and spends a lot of time looking for ways to improve campus through different policies. This is one of the reasons why Ngoma wanted Nathan to be his running mate in the SGA presidency. I am lucky that I got a chance to meet Nathan, um, but more importantly I got a chance to have him as my running mate. And so he's a very interesting character in terms of um, in terms of like policy and he have a lot of strategies on how, you know, on how to make something better in the writing as well as in um, executing them. If you think you have what it takes to make changes to Missouri Western, you can join SGA and have your voice be heard. SGA's next meeting is October 21st in Blum 220. With Griffin Media, I'm Chloe Ryan. It seems like he has a really busy life. 
I don't know how he does it. Yeah, neither do I. And I thought I had a busy semester. But you know who else does have a busy life? No, who? Missouri Speaker of the House, Elijah Haar. He is a Western alum and came to talk to students about his profession and his time at Missouri Western. Let's see what reporter Brianna Reed found out. Um, I was driving up this morning kind of thinking about what I wanted to say. Uh, it's not often that I get introduced with somebody whose last name is harder to pronounce than my own, so it's kind of nice to follow. On Thursday, October 10th, in Spratt 101, Missouri Western alum Elijah Haar came back to his alma mater to deliver his journey, starting out as a Griffin as he served as Student Government Association President, then transitioned to the Missouri House of Representatives in 2012, and is now the Speaker of the House and has held his position since November 1st in 2018. There's nothing quite as intellectually stimulating as, as being in the political arena. Law is close, but politics is just much more interesting. I Missouri Western in 2005, he graduated in 2006. I think the last time I was in this room was for a Mr. MWSU competition. And it's the last time I remember being here. I was not in the competition. Vice President for Athletics Josh Looney was excited to have Speaker Elijah Haar back on campus to provide students and other faculty members like himself with inspirational nuggets to continue to enhance their time here at Missouri Western. Great to have him back on campus. As a speaker, um, is somebody who can be a champion for Missouri Western for higher education, and it's great to have him uh, back on campus while he's Speaker of the House to um, re-give those po positive feelings and experiences that, that he had here and, and to be able to walk back on campus, uh, you know, hopefully it, it, he can feel that, that love that Missouri Western has for him and that he had for it. Member of the Alpha Sigma Phi Fraternity Incorporated, Dylan Schreckler idolizes Speaker Har and has been motivated by him to dive even deeper into politics as he double majors in political science and economics. Speaker Har is actually my true per, uh, personal political idol and it's only made me want to get in the realm of politics even greater and more deeply affect those around me where I want to serve my community and actually follow the same path that he has in his own lifetime of coming through here at Missouri Western and then moving on as far as Jefferson City where I'd like to see myself in the same position one day. Speaker Har is proud to be a Missouri Western alum and speaks very highly of the university. One of the things I always say about Missouri Western is people that go to Missouri Western um, have sort of a belief that they can they can do everything. A lot of it is because that we are an open admission school and so there's a lot of people that come to Missouri Western that never thought they could go to college. And so I feel like Missouri Western, the, the, the one theme, and I said it in my speech, that, that always is opportunity. You can do and create whatever person you want to be, whatever job you want to be. Like this is the place where you get that, that chance to do it. This event left a large crowd with a lot to think about. For Griffin Media, this is Brianna Reed. After this short break is, do you know your campus? At Missouri Western, it's on us. It's on us, all of us, to take responsibility and stop sexual assault. To create a campus environment where everyone is safe and feels safe. To realize that ending sexual assault is not an individual endeavor. But a collective effort. To understand that it affects not only students, but faculty and staff members alike. At Missouri Western, we take action. It's on us to look out for each other and not look the other way. We step up and say something. We support survivors. We are going to be a part of the solution and not the problem. It's on us to intervene and take responsibility. So take action because we can and will make a difference. At Missouri Western, it's on us to, to put, put an, an end to sexual assault. assault. Begin by taking the pledge at itsonus.org. Can you name an academic building on campus? Uh, I know Potter Hall. It's for the Fine Arts Building. Yep. Do you know where Einstein's is located? In Augustine. Yep. <laughs> and do you know where the roastery is located? Uh, in the library. Yep. What is the name of an academic building on campus? Murphy. Do you know who the 2019 convocation speaker was? Yeah, it was John Meekum. I was actually there at the convocation. Good job. Not most people know that. Do you know who the 2019 convocation speaker was? I feel like it's probably a guy named Mike or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know he's talking about national unity, but I don't know his name. John Meacham. What? I'm close. Do you know where the roastery is located? The roastery is right here in the library. Yep. Go Alpha Sig. So did you get any of those this time? Oh yeah, this week was easy. You need to step up your game. Well, all right then. 
maybe during this break you can give me some questions. One out of every four car accidents are caused by texting and driving. Wait, what did you just say? You heard me. That's better. Keep your eyes on the road. On October 16th at 11, there will be a student health fair in Fulkerson. On Thursday, October 17th at 12.30 in Eater 211, there will be a Spanish board game that students can come play. Also on Thursday, October 17th at 2.30, the Griffin Yearbook will be handing out yearbooks and taking yearbook pictures for anyone who wants one in the Blum Student Union. A lot of events are happening on October 17th because at 5 on the Griffin Student Field, there will be a powder puff game. And on October 22nd at 7, there will be a music technology ensemble concert in Kemper Recital Hall. That's all we have for you today. But don't leave yet because Jake's Sports Report and the Griffin Newscast is right up after these messages. A leading problem I faced is a misunderstanding on the part of students of the importance of academic advising. They miss appointments. They don't make appointments. But what's most disappointing is when they come unprepared. Give me a student with a plan in their head, or better yet, on paper. We could talk about their interests, not just about their classes. We could discuss internships, classwork, grad programs. It would open the door to what advising is truly about. Can I help you? But instead, they come to me in a panic when they need to register I because- I need to talk to you. I was trying to register for my classes, but it wouldn't let me do it because I need my pen and I haven't had time to set up an advising, so I don't even know what classes I need to take. So I just signed up for a bunch of random ones and I'm gonna drop them later. So can I have my pen real fast? Because I'm still locked into a computer in the lab. Am I interrupting? Take ownership of your education. Make the most of your advisement by being proactive, punctual, and prepared. You'll open the door to more personalized attention and avoid costly setbacks. It's never too soon to begin planning your next steps at Missouri Western. Welcome to the Griffin Update Sports Report. I'm Jake Michael. Well, it finally happened last Saturday. Griffin football took down Missouri Southern 43-34, which was their first win on their own turf this year, and of course they got to ring the bell. And let me tell you, my ears haven't fully recovered from that. But anyways, this wasn't just any home win, but a homecoming victory made it so much sweeter. It was another day in the office for quarterback Wyatt Staggerwald. He threw for 229 yards and three touchdowns. And the trio formerly known as Earth, Wind & Fire accounted for 236 yards on the ground. And let's not forget the defense had two sacks and two interceptions in this game. For more information on the game, here's reporter Tanner Cobb. It was homecoming this past weekend for Missouri Western, and they took care of business as they defeated Missouri Southern 43-34 to for its first home win of this season. Um, just an all over, you know, good performance. We told them it would take all of us, you know, and every time we, we talk about it, it would take all of us to win a game. Um, and, and I think we use every part of our offense, defense, and special teams in sp certain parts of the game to make sure that we got the win. I feel very comfortable. Uh, I trust my whole line. I trust my teammates to have my back. Uh, and when a big play is need to be made, I try to make it if it happens. That's, that's what our team about. You can ask all of them about it. It's just it's, it's not about uh, every one of us trying to get this and that. It's about trying to get those wins. And that's why they'll continue to come and we'll continue to have success. Because we don't stop. Like, relentless. Snap every drive. That's what basically will be showing this year. Coach really pushing us every day. And then it, it'll get to the, you know some kids that think it's annoying, but to be there and then get to that top level is every day. You know, and I appreciate Coach really for that. Great, great feeling, get a get a win at home. Um, the, the crowd, the, the the community support, all that stuff. So it's been awesome all year. And hopefully, it continues that. This is the first time since September of 2018 that the Griffs have rang that bell at Spratt Stadium. They have lost five straight games dating back to last season at home and move on to 4-2. and two. This is Tanner Cobb reporting for Griffin Media. Now, does this pretend the Griffs running the table the rest of the year? We'll find out. Saturday, they head down to Edmond, Oklahoma to take on Central Oklahoma. Now for some news a little closer to home. The cross-country regular season has concluded and now it's on to Joplin for the MIAA Championships. 
Both men and women finished the regular season on Saturday. The men competed in the Gary Stoner Invitational, where they finished fourth as a team. Ian Cabet finished 10th individually, and Andrew Wright finished just behind him at 11th. The women were in Illinois for the Lewis Crossover, where they finished 29th as a team. Megan Gillen placed 102nd as an individual. Both teams will begin competition in Joplin on Saturday, October 26th. After a tough loss to Nebraska Kearney, the women's volleyball team got back on the winning track by beating Fort Hayes State three sets to none. Allie Talkin was dominant per usual. She had the highest hitting percentage for the Griffs and also set a three-set match record by scoring 20.5 points throughout the match. And of course, Lauren Murphy added to her already historic career with 37 assists, which was a high for either team. They're on the road for their next two games, and when they come back to campus, I would suggest circling Tuesday, October 22nd on your calendars because that will be the much-anticipated rematch against Northwest Missouri State. The last time they played, the Griffs lost in five sets, so get your popcorn ready for the next time these teams meet. That's all we have for you today. For more information on all the latest news, scores, and highlights on all things Missouri Western Athletics, check out GoGriffins.com. Also, don't forget to tune into Griffin Update Sports next week. I'm Jake Michael, and I'll see you next time. I've been where you fear to be. I've seen what you fear to see. I've done what you fear to do. All of these things I've done for you. I am the person you lean upon, the one you cast your scorn upon. And the one you bring your troubles to. All these people, I've been for you. All these people, I've been for you. All these people, I've been for you. All of these people, I've been for you. On the Griffin Newscast, a look into some future plans from SGA, and a look into the new Griffin Guarantee Scholarship. All that and more coming up next. The Griffin Newscast starts now. SGA had many new faces join this year. With the new members come new ideas. After taking a look into what was being discussed, I was able to bring to you this story. Check it out. Welcome to the Senate meeting on October 14, 2019 on this wonderful 502 afternoon. <laughs> Monday night's Student Government Association meeting was business as usual with a full agenda and lots to cover. With the first reading of controversial new legislation, President Ngoma Fataki also made a point to elect a new senator and chief justice to the SGA board. Senator who got appointed, uh, Senator Bri uh, Brianna Milo, she got appointed, and we also appointed, well, I appointed uh, the chief justice, Hannah Berry, and she got voted on by the Senate. So. That was, um, that got passed today. Senator Miller informed everyone in attendance that she has lots to bring to the table and shared some of her ideas on how she plans to help improve the organization. As a senator, I would like to improve the communications between SGA and the student body. There is currently a need for us to bridge the gap because I noticed personally behind the scenes that there is a lot of disconnection between our communications internally as well as externally, so I want to help the president and try to, you know, implement a way that's more successful to bring a child to our community. Western Activities Council, the Center for Multicultural Education, Center for Student Involvement, and International Student Services were amongst the many that presented itemized budgets to the SGA on Monday. Along with the approval of new RSO, the Fishing Club, Senator Chris this year says if you'd like to see more of SGA in action, feel free to attend their next meeting. Um, if you'd like to come to a meeting and see what we do ourselves and like come and give your own little two cents on what goes on, come to a meeting Monday at 5. Reporting for the Griffin Newscast, this is Jordan Alford signing off. Midterm week is in full gear here at Missouri Western. Students are looking into tips and techniques on how to make it through the week. Griffin News' Kathleen Woods has more on the story. Professors have been in our position before when it comes to midterms, and they know it's not easy. And it was so overwhelming because you're trying to figure out, I just remember as a freshman, trying to figure out how to make it all fit. Nothing feels quite right. You never feel completely prepared. Anxiety about, what if I studied this, but they ask about that. Um... I just remember that overwhelming, you know, how do you get through it kind of thing. The week before midterms is the perfect time to amp up your studying skills, and students agree. So, like, start studying, like, a week before you have your test, not like the night before. Retain the information better and everything. 
There are multiple ways of studying and everyone retains information differently. I definitely think, like if you have like a big paragraph you have to memorize, I think you need to like read over a section of it, like put your hand over it and then like try and memorize it like that. I found that I can remember a lot of stuff doing that. <laughs> this is Kathleen Woods with the Griffin Newscast. President Wilson has brought many new changes to Missouri Western in his short time here. He's recently announced yet another exciting opportunity. I'm happy to bring to you this story introducing the Griffin Guarantee Scholarship. Check it out. To be honest, I am definitely jealous uh, for the new coming class because they get to benefit all this money that it's, you know, they'll be getting all these scholarships guaranteed. It's not like it's going to go away. Missouri Western has recently announced that there's a new scholarship on the scene. Beginning next year, freshmen and transfer students will be qualified to receive the Griffin Guarantee Scholarship, all thanks to President Wilson. President Wilson, um, you know, becoming our new president, he has this idea of just maybe creating one scholarship. Um, so basically taking the majority of our scholarship dollars and just rolling it into one scholarship program. The Griffin Guarantee Scholarship allows for students to get an increase in financial aid the longer that they stay at Western and is ultimately believed to encourage higher retention rates. Director of Admissions Peggy Payne believes it will also attract more students and increase enrollment. It will attract more students and I do think it will increase enrollment. Uh, one of the reasons I think it will increase enrollment is it's going to be an incentive for students to stay. Though a little jealous, President Fataki is still excited for the new students. I'm really excited for, you know, those students who will be coming here uh, as they are, you know, studying in a, either fall or spring. I'm really excited for them because they have an opportunity to earn scholarship as they go. The Griffin Guarantee Scholarship is here to stay. For more information on who's eligible and how to apply, visit finaid at missouriwestern.edu. This is Jordan Alford with the Griffin Newscast, signing off. Thank you very much for tuning in to the Griffin Newscast. Stay up to date with all the campus news by picking up a copy of the Griffin News or check out their social media. That's your news in five minutes. I'm Jordan Alford. Well, that brings us to the end of our show. You can watch our show on MWSU TV Channel 12. You can also catch us on the Griffin Update Vimeo and YouTube channels and the Missouri Western Student Media homepage. And make sure you check out the next edition of the Griffin News. From all of us here at Griffin Update, thank you for watching.